We just sang together, taste and see how good God is. Amen? Amen. Taste and see. And for me, it was a blessing today to receive once again the gift of Holy Communion, to come and to be nourished by the Eucharist, to receive God's blessings today, but also to see just how good God is. Amen. See how good God is. In my role as pastor, to be able to sit back today and see the goodness of so many people coming to Mass, feel more comfortable gathering in these spaces, and doing it in a safe way. Amen. God is good. Yes, God is good. Yeah. And also to be able to hear God's praises, God's word being proclaimed and preached and sung so beautifully, my God is good. Yes, 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 yes. So I thank you for coming today to gather once again in this space. There's no other place we want to be on Sunday morning but in God's house to give God thanks and praise for what God has done for us. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. I want to recognize visitors today, anybody who is visiting our church today who's not a member. Would you stand and we might acknowledge your presence today. Any visitors among us, would you please stand? You're all members? Okay. Yes. Welcome to St. Martin de Porres. Great. Thank you. You know, we love having visitors come among us. And if you're not a member, just simply send an email to myself or Father McCona. We'll sign you as a visitor. That's how simple it is. So it's good to have you here to come into God's house and welcome once again into God's space. Who's celebrating their birthday this week? We celebrate in October. Any October birthday? Can you stand? Amen. Couple? All right. Let's sing. Happy to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Day. Almost November, not quite. But almost November. All great people are born in November, so we're almost there. Almost there. As Father McConan preached so well today, we thank Father for his homily this morning. And if you didn't get it, you weren't paying attention about. <laughs> You weren't listening <laughs> about the gift of God's mercy and the sacrament of reconciliation. Amen? Amen? One time I was telling my students in high school that I go to confession every month. And the young man said, you talk to a mirror? I said, no, I don't talk to the mirror. I go like you go. I, I go to a priest and, and ask him to sit, hear my confession. So we too, as priests, need God's mercy. And over and over again, Father gave us stories and examples of how the door, the door of mercy is open. Come on, man. Yes. 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 I don't think you heard me. The door Come on. of mercy is open. In the midst of all the burdens we carry, one of the ways I describe confession is we walk around with all kinds of stuff in our pockets. called to do Amen. because our sins are holding us down yeah, yeah. and one of the most beautiful stories father shared was the fact that even Jesus does remember our sins that's right, that's right, that's right. come to the door of mercy next Sunday nine o'clock my father McCona and myself with the guest priest I know some of you don't want to go perhaps to a priest you know but honestly as we heard today I don't remember your sins I'm not trying to figure out who it is I got my own stuff. And I can only talk for one person, but I'm not there yet. I need his mercy. 
I'm not sure when that my number's going to get called. So I want to be ready. And so we'll have three priests, myself, Father McConan, and a, a, a third guest priest you don't know. Okay. We'll be in the sacristy, the confessional, and I'm going to be outside on the porch for those of you who don't want to be in a closed space. We'll have uh, partitions up. We don't need to see your faces. Just to hear the mercy of God coming to you. And it's one of, I don't ask for much as a pastor. But I'm asking next Sunday you come out at 9 o'clock. And you come early, and you come ready Amen. to receive God's mercy. Y'all with me? Yes. 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 And especially our confirmation students. You with me? Because before you receive that gift of the Holy Spirit, you got to be ready. Amen. You don't put on new clothes, and you ain't take a shower yet. You gotta be ready. So it's a family affair next Sunday. So come out at nine o'clock. We'll have our deacon giving us a beautiful homily. The blessed sacrament will be um, exposed. A great day to pray. You can't be God's giving. You give time to God. God I guarantee, I, I know I'm a testimony. God will magnify God's blessings to you. That's just how good God is. Yeah. We have no problem watching our favorite stories, don't we? Or watch the Eagles game, lose, tie, whatever it may be. <laughs> we can't give God some time? Come on, y'all. Next Sunday, 9 o'clock, you want to be in the space next Sunday. There is flyers in the bulletin, all kind of great things happening in the diocese and in our parish. So uh, stay aware of what's going on and, and be able to participate in the great things Bible study this Thursday. Sister Lemarie did a great job. Y'all put me out last Thursday, but I heard it was anointed time. Women's Bible study. Thank you, sister, for a great job last week. You know, one of those phrases we hear all the time, you're on mute. Y'all put me on mute last Sunday, last Thursday. I put me on mute so I couldn't speak up, but no, thank you so much for that. And uh, as you know, we're getting ready for our election. We do not ever endorse candidates. We don't do that. We endorse the gospel. Amen? Amen. We endorse Jesus Christ. And so, but I do consistently remind you of the importance of election and voting as your, your right as American, especially for us as black people and for women. And so I want to invite uh, Mr. Bill to come up and give a quick word about uh, voting and the importance of voting getting ready for November 3rd, which actually is a feast of St. Martin de Port.